Hello, everybody. It's Gary Stuckey with Real Music. On today's show, I've got Jody Nix. He is a renowned Western swing and true country music artist from Texas with a career spanning several decades, and he is celebrated for his authentic sound and dedication to traditional country music. His music is a staple at dances and events across Texas, and he continues to inspire new generations of country music enthusiasts. He has recorded seven albums and received a CMA nomination for Album of the Year in 1994. And he's here today. We're going to talk about his brand new album called It's About Time. He's covering a lot of Western swing and country classics like Memory Maker by Mel Tillis and Faded Love by Bob Wills. And he's got a couple of new tracks on there. We're going to talk about all that and a lot more. So here we go. Here he is. Here's Jody Nix. <laughs> How are you doing today? I'm good, sir. How are you? Thank you for having me on. Yes, sir. I'm I'm uh, I'm happy to be here talking to you. Uh, well, tell me this: How long have you been doing this now? How many years have you been uh, 60, singing? Sixty-four years I've been playing music professionally. Wow, that's that's a few years. <laughs> that's, yes, sure it is. That's <laughs> you. You've had a lot of practice. Uh, I have, really... but I probably need a lot more. <laughs> <laughs> I doubt that. Hey, uh, well, tell me this now. Going back to the beginning, how did you st- how did you get your start in in music? How did that happen? Okay, when I was four years old, I got my first set of drums. Uh, I showed interest in music uh, at a very very early age. Uh, I praise the good Lord for the talent that he gave me. I always tell everybody that. And uh, I was learning to play when I was four. And when I was eight years old, uh, the drummer that was working with my dad, he got sick. And this was in the middle of the summer, July, early July of 1960. And they called and said, our drummer's sick. Go get Jody, clean him up, bring him to the bus. We got to have a drummer. And that's when it started. Because two mm-hmm. weeks later, the drummer quit, and for the next 25 years, I played drums with my dad. And that was 1960 till mm-hmm. 1985. Wow, that's awesome to play drums for your dad. Um, well, how many instruments do you play? Now I've seen you play in all kinds of stuff. So how many? How many instruments? Uh, just drums, drums and fiddle is the main thing, and singing and. A little bit of rhythm guitar, not, you know, not nothing fancy, but I can, if I'm asked to play for something, a party or a Christmas party or a funeral or whatever, I need, you know, I just play rhythm guitar and sing with it, but I'm not, I'm not uh, accomplished on that. <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, well, tell me, now you got a brand new album called It's About Time. Is it, is it about time that you released this album? Is that why you called yes, it? it- <laughs> <laughs> yes, it is. It's been about 12 years or longer. Uh, funny how this kind of come up. Uh, the lady, my sweet lady friend, uh, w- we were talking about recording this, and, and we did it, and we were discussing titles one day, and uh, whether you call it 10 years later or Jody's brand new CD or whatever, and she just kind of looked over at me because it's been a long time, and she said, well, it's about you know what time? And I said, well, I can't use that word, but we can put, it's about time. It's short. She is the one. Yeah, she's the one that named the, the CD. And Tracy just flipped when I told him that. Tracy Pitcox. So that's what we've called it. Well, that's good. That's fitting. Very fitting. Uh, <laughs> I like that. Um, now, how did you decide what songs that you were going to do uh, for this album? Just went back through and looked and uh, thought, well, some of these have they they're all covers except two, and uh, and they're they've been recorded too by the guy that wrote wrote them and let me have them. But I put some Bob Wills on there, Ray Price, uh, Wilburn Brothers, obscure stuff that you don't hear much anymore or hasn't been recorded in a long time that I right. like. And I thought, uh, well, well, we'll just do those and. Because we do most of them at the dances, and people like them, and maybe they'll like them, you know, after we record them. So that's right, how that right. came about. Right. Um, 
And, you know, when you're going back, you're recording some of these songs that have, like you said, haven't been heard in a long time in these traditional Western swing songs that that's how country music started. Uh, why do you think that that's still around as opposed to, you know, I know the music changed and kind of went in two different directions. It used to be country and Western type. Why do you think it's still popular? What is it? What is the popularity of that kind of music? Why do you think that's still so popular? The, the thing, it, the thing of it is, with us, it's dance music. You know, people love to dance here where I am in Texas, and uh, right. those old songs they'll really hit the floor with those, and especially "Faded Love." And uh, we redone the Mel Tillis song "Memory Maker." I've always loved that, and uh, everything we put on there, you can dance to. That's what I'm known as is a dance band. <laughs> Right. And that's, I mean, I guess to see people out there dancing to the music that you're playing and they're having a good time, it probably means right. a lot to you, right? Yes, sir. And we're traditional country and Western swing. We stayed with the, the roots, you know. And I still do quite a bit of George Strait, some Alan Jackson. You know, that still fits me, but the new stuff doesn't fit me. And I'm not knocking them guys, but that's, you know, that's just not what I do. That's not I like the do. old stuff. Right. And, you know, you're talking about George Strait, who he always incorporates some of that old music. You're talking about Bob Wills. And what was it about Bob go. Wills? Was how, how how do you think he drew in all those people, Bob Wills, with his style? Why do you think he was so special? It, it was something new that he created, Western Swing, that he put together with, you know, a big band style with fiddles and steel and horns. And they dressed Western. They had a Western flavor to it. it. He he put it with the roots of where he came from, from the ranch country and the ranch dances, and he made it fit, and, and the, it had a beat that you could dance to. That's what he was all about, making those right. people dance. Right. And, uh, he, and was, uh, he was a superstar before there were superstars. <laughs> right. And everybody tries to be like that. Um, and but to keep it going, you know, and you're you're playing all over Texas. I mean, that's you know, when I think of Texas, you know, the Western swing music and the dancing. I mean, you're representing a big thing, you know, and it and it it probably has people uh, uh, when they mention your name, you know, th they think of that. They think of uh, dancing and and singing and having fun, you know. I mean. Uh, so uh, what's what's the biggest part of, of uh, what you do as far as, you know, bringing people together? What Why do you think we need that these days as far as these dances and singing? Why, why do you think that's so special? Now, you kind of cut out just a little bit there, uh -oh. Jerry. Can you repeat that, please? Yeah, I, I'll repeat it. What, uh, why do you think that... Uh, music like yours and the dances are so special these days in the world we live in. Keeping a tradition alive, the old country and the, the, the sure enough dance music and the, and the Bob Will style, the Western swing, because people, there's still a market for that, especially where I am. And uh, like I say, they, they want to hear that. And when they, when they vote me, they know they're going to hear it. <laughs> right. So right. It's great music, great listening. It's stuff you don't hear much anymore outside of me and a select few here in Texas that still play that style. Right. Right. Um and uh you've got you got a couple of new songs on this album. Can you talk about the new songs you've got? Yes, they were written by a friend of mine, uh Jim Webb. He and I went to school together when we just I was in the second grade, and he was in the first. That's how long I've known that boy, or man. And uh, one of them is called First from the Last, and the other one is When You Know How to Fall. The uh, First from the Last is more of a, in the vein of just a straight-ahead country 2-4, and, and When You Know How to Fall, it's more like the 90s country, like the George Strait, Alan Jackson style, which I love that. Yeah. I, I threw that in there, and, uh, you know, just to have a variety and that besides that, they're great songs. And I was looking for something new besides the covers. And I called him and I said, hey, man, you got some something I might record? He said, yeah, let me look. And he sent me, oh, I don't know how, 10 or 15. And I picked those two because I thought they would fit me better 
and I liked them. I liked everything he said, but these two were the stands out standouts for me. Well, I was I was thinking about the uh, your career, and you've been doing this for over sixty years. What has been a, a highlight of your career that you look back on and, and think that that was a big time in my life? Can you think back to some of those days? Oh, yes, sir. All, all of them have been highlights. But when I was very young, when I was 21, when I was still with my dad, uh, he and I both recorded uh, with Bob Wills on the for the last time album in 1973, along with the Texas Playboys and Merle Haggard, who was the hottest thing in country music at that time. And that was a big, big honor for a 21-year-old kid to get to do that. And then wow. after my dad passed away unexpectedly, I was kind of thinking, well, what am I going to do now? I Shall I keep it going or let it go? And I knew what I wanted to do. I just wondered if I could do it. And by the grace of God, like I said, I put him first in my life. He gave me the talent and the ability to use it, and that's who I glorify with it. Uh, we started, and 37 years later, I'm still playing. So 39 years later, I'm still playing. So, right. uh, But playing Bob Wills Day in Turkey, that's another highlight. I've uh, been there 48 years and getting to play for the president, President George W. Bush. Daddy Bush, I called him, <laughs> in 1989 <laughs> for the uh, Black Time Boots Ball. We got to do that, and uh, awesome. there's a rodeo dance that I played for for 38 years in, in Stanford, Texas. Stanford, Texas, and Turkey, Texas are the two main dances that really helped launch my career after I started on my own, and I'll always be, you know, beholden to that. And we, we get to do a lot of nice things across the country through the year, and uh, we're just thankful to be doing what we're doing, that people right. still want us and like us. Right. Um, Is that kind of what you're wanting to hear? <laughs> that, that's perfect. That's perfect. Um, well, that's, you know, to, to perform for all these people, I mean, to, and these big names, that, I mean, that's uh, that's pretty awesome stuff there. And the president. Um, yes, yeah, sir. That, that's, uh, that's really nice. That's really nice. Uh, did you ever think that that's where you would be when you were younger? You know, you, did you ever think when you were a kid playing drums back there that you'd, you'd go on to do some of these kind of things and, and be uh, leading a band and, and playing all over the place and uh, after all these years? No, something- I, it probably would cross my mind in a sense of what I wanted to do and how I wanted to do it but right. actually getting to do it, that that's a, a different different thing you know because I had no idea when we first started if people would accept me or us me and my band, and, you know, they did, and uh, I'm thankful for that, and, and the things just, the phone started ringing, Gary, and uh, thank the good Lord it still does. <laughs> right. I hope it keeps going. Um, what's what's some of the things that people tell you, like, after the show, when they come up to you, what's some of the things uh, that they say to you? Oh, they'll shake my hand. We sure enjoyed it. Man, you play great dance music. It's just such a good mix, a good atmosphere. And we draw a young crowd, an older crowd, a mixed crowd. To, you know, the the married couples, the young, young couples, the grandmothers and grandfathers. And we just, we've always drawn a mixed crowd at, at all of our dances. And uh, when they're out there on that floor, I feel like I'm doing my job. And they'll come up and tell me, you know, we really enjoyed it. And shaking my hand, and that's at the end of the night, and that's that makes it worth it right there. Right. You know, I think there needs to be more shows. There used to be shows on TV where there would be dances, and you'd see the couples dancing. That they don't really show a lot of that anymore. Maybe you could. No. You know, they 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 need to start something new. Maybe you could be a part of that or something. You know, I think I think people seeing more of that music, you know, because it's out there, it's popular. For some reason, right. they have a select, you know, number of people that they kind of focus on. But uh, that would be really cool to see, right, on TV. Yes, sir. I think so. Yes, sir. Um, I think so. That exposure. We've talked to Tracy Pitt talks about that. <laughs> oh, yeah. I <laughs> said so you got to put it out there, you know. You got to put it out there, let uh, people talk about it. Right. 
That's and, right. uh, and you know, a guy upstairs, God, that can uh, do all things. You never know. He might work something out Amen. in that area. But, right. Amen. Um, I, I, would, I would do it. <laughs> you wouldn't say sure no. Would. Would you? <laughs> no, sir. No, sir. <laughs> well, uh, the album, uh, what's you got uh, some more songs that what's some of the songs though that really uh stick out to you on the album that you really enjoy uh listening to? We've had so many requests through the years to record Faded Love, the Bob <laughs> Wills classic, and we did it on this one. And we have kind of a different way of doing it, not not really varying from the traditional style, but it's a fiddle kick off by itself and then comes in and then we do something like that where it's just the fiddles playing before we play it out and it's, it's just a different version and people really like that and uh, they like our version the way we do it and like I said so many requests through the years I thought well it's time to do it if we're going to get that one on there and then we did yeah. another wheels tune it's real up tempo uh, the end of the line and I did Memory Maker the old Mel Tellis song and we did the Ray Price classic somewhere out in Texas and uh, brother, somebody's back in town, and Mel Tillis is memory maker. And uh, we did a Vern Gosden song called uh, Dream of Me. We did that. And uh, oh, heck, there's so many, I can't remember all of them <laughs> but off the top of my head. Well, that's uh, okay. We did 12. So, well, uh, so where can fans uh, go to check out that uh, new music? And uh, how do they, you got a website to go you to? You can and... order them from me off, off my website at www.jodynextmusic.com. And they are streaming. It is streaming on all ways to get it. It's out there. <laughs> you can download it every way fashionable. And uh, of course, awesome. good folks like you that bring us on to, talk about it we appreciate that but it's on every download that you can get that's why tracy pitcock's wanted right. to do it and of course you can order them right. from him or me if you want to buy the uh cd copy or the downloads you have to you know you know more about that than i do i'm not i'm not really <laughs> up on all that just yet <laughs> right i understand that i'm still learning myself um what kind of shows do you have uh, coming up in the near future? What you got going on there? Uh, this weekend, we're in the little town of Post, Texas, which is north of Big Spring, where I live, for a rodeo dance. We've been doing that one a long, long time. And then Saturday, we're north of Lubbock for a 70th birthday party for a close friend of mine. Awesome. And a private, private deal. I can't even say his name on here. He might hear it. <laughs> no. <laughs> but anyway, we do dances. We do anniversaries we do rodeo dances festivals we do a little bit of all of it awesome. and uh, we're coming up on the san angelo cowboy gathering which is in uh, september in san angelo been going on 11 years we've been fortunate to be able to play every one of those we're doing a deal uh, with tracy pitt talks uh in two weeks in brady for the honky tonk fest we'll be there for that and we just got a lot of stuff going on and all, you know, up to the end of the year even. So we're, we're looking forward to all of it. Awesome. Well, congratulations on your new album. And it's about time. You, that you're, it's about time. <laughs> yes, sir. But, yes, sir. <laughs> well, well, thank you I'm so glad much. You, glad you caught that, Gary. <laughs> <laughs> well, well, thank you so much. It's great music. I've been listening to it and, uh, and, and well, I appreciate you. Thanks for sharing it, and uh, I'll be posting this very soon, and I'll let everybody know about it. But thank you for joining me today. Thank you. Thank you for having me, sir. Thank you so much. Bye-bye. All righty. Bye-bye. And there you have it. And there you have it. There's Jody Nix. There's Jody Nix. Super nice guy. Super very nice talented guy, guy, guy with a brand new album. Brand new album. Called It's About called Time. It's about available time. available, available on, all on all platforms and on CD. And on check CD, out his check website out his for more information. More information. And, uh, and uh, if you're out in Texas, out in Texas maybe you'll see him out there at a dance and uh, uh, you have a good time. Thanks for tuning in. And until next time, everybody, always remember to keep the music real.